Hey, welcome. My name is Fran, and in this video, I'm going to show you really quickly how you can add a, a custom domain email to your GetResponse account. I'll also show you how you can create a custom email address in your Bluehost account and then add it to the, your GetResponse account. So let's hop onto my screen and do this really quick. All right, so first in GetResponse, you can come over here to my account, manage account, and you'll just find your email addresses. As you can see, I have already a few email addresses added here. They should show, uh, show up like this with uh, confirmed. You'll need three steps to do this. Let me show you. First, let's go to Bluehost and Advanced. In your dashboard, just click on Advanced. Let's go to Email Accounts, and here's where we're going to create our custom domain, email. So we'll create new one. And we'll find the domain we want to create it for. So, in my case, I want to so create createandearn.com is the one I want to use. And I'm going to call this, I already have my name, I'm going to call this a tutorial at createandearn.com. Um, I recommend you use your name here because uh, people will see your, you're emailing them from your own personal name. And it's not a bot or anything, it's just you. So, let's enter a password you can just generate an automated one here and like, and we've got here storage space you can put 500 megabytes or you can just use unlimited usually i use unlimited for the addresses that i that i use for myself my personal addresses and you just click create so here it is tutorial at createandearn.com if you want to access it just click check email and you'll go into your email account it will ask you what how you want to open the inbox or just uh, choose the default and here it is the email configuration is just the first email you receive otherwise if you want to connect other devices to this email account just click here and uh, you can send yourself instructions these instructions and email yourself and that's it anyway right now we're going back to our so back to our get response account we'll click add email here we'll add the name it's important that you use your own personal name like i explained explained before this i'll show you here the example this will show in a, in an email it will show the person that will will come from will be my name It'll, this will show up in the email address in the email that people receive the person receives and then this is the email that we'll see so in this case i'm going to add again friend and this will be called tutorial at create and earn dot com once you add this address what happens is, please verify your new address. Send a confirmation email. First step is, go back to your inbox. You should receive this email. Please confirm new email address. So this is just an email that you receive. You just have to click confirm. So get response notes. This is your email address. So how do we see it now? Uh, automatically, it says confirmed in this case. But you might have to, to take another step. In, in your case, you might not see the confirmed status because you need to add, and I'm going to show you this step. It's a very important step. So just click in domains and then my domains or subdomains, it doesn't matter. When, once you see the zone editor, click here. And uh, I'm going to show you what I have here in uh, Create and Earn, and you'll have to add it. You'll have the instructions here. When, when you click on Authenticate, They'll give you the text record you have to create for your host. You just copy this. So you need to create a record of text with uh, the host record. You'll find it here once again. This is the host record. You'll just copy this, come here, paste it. And then the text value is the value that you see here. Copy this and paste it here. There we go. Then you just click add record. And once you do this, your get response account will be associated to your domain. So this will be validated. It will say confirmed here once this is done. It might take a while to populate, but that's it. Now, one very important thing is to set this email as default. So you don't have to be choosing the email you want to email people from every time, you, every time you're sending an email. So basically that's it for this video and uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful. For more tips about how to use GetResponse, find them in my channel. 
subscribe over here and you'll see plenty of videos for uh, tutorials for get response and also there will be a lot of videos to teach you as a content creator how to monetize your content how to create a passive income with your content